Hello, my dear students. Today we are reviewing and learning some English idioms. Uh, remember that the exact meaning of an idiom is an expression whose meaning is not predictable from the usual meaning or the first meaning of its elements or words. You know that uh, they are influenced by culture and their origin. They are kind of informal English. Uh, let us look at some idioms, their meanings, and examples into sentences. First idiom is water under the bridge. This expression is used to refer to something from the past that is no longer important, as in the example, what's done is done and there's nothing we can do about it. It's all water under the bridge now. Second idiom is a piece of cake. Something that is a piece of cake is very easy to do, as in the example, the exam was a piece of cake. Try to remember the equivalent in Albanian. It has also to do with food. Third one is uh, let the cat out of bag. It means to reveal a secret or to tell someone about a secret. As in the example, we are throwing a party for Michelle tonight, but don't let the cat out of the bag. It's supposed to be a surprise. Fourth idiom, hit the nail on the head. It means when we describe something in a perfect way. As in the example, I think you really hit the nail on the head when you said that what we are lacking is confidence and motivation. Fifth idiom, you can't judge a book by its cover. You can tell what is someone like from his or her appearance. As in the example, she seems like a cold and hard person, but she's very warm and nice. You can't judge a book by its cover. Fifth idiom, don't bite off more than you can chew. It means that you don't try to do more than you can do, as in the example, I think I bit off more than I could chew when I agreed to paint this house by myself. Sixth, seventh idiom, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. You do me a favor and I will do you a favor in return. As in the example, if you lend me the money now, I'll use my contacts to help you get the job you want. So you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Eighth idiom, add insult to injury. It means when a situation is bad, you worse it by doing something else bad. As in the example, she arrived an hour late for the dinner party. Then, just to add insult to injury, she complained about the food. The other idiom is once in a blue moon. It means very rarely or not very often. Uh, as in the example, with three kids to look after, I only get to go, to go out once in a blue moon. So, rarely, very rarely. The other, or the tenth one, is see eye to eye. If two people see eye to eye, they agree on things and see things in the same way. As in the example, sometimes we fight, but we generally see eye to eye on most things, so they agree on most things. Eleventh one is kill two birds with one stone. And we use the same expression, same idiom into Albanian. So uh, it means to manage to do two things at the same time. And we have the example, during the trip to Scotland, I met with my old friends and went to my brother's wedding. I managed to kill two birds with one stone. The other idiom, to cut corners. What does it mean? So, to do something in the easiest, quickest or cheapest way. It is also used in Tulbanian, but not with this 
um, words, try to find the equivalent ones in Slovenian. Uh, the example is, I want cut corners just to save money. I put quality first. The other idiom is the last straw. It means the last problem in a series of problems. So we have the example in here to trying to fix, memorize uh, this idiom. She's always been rude to me, but it was the last straw when she started assaulting my mother. And the other one, take what someone said with a pinch of salt. What does it mean? It means you don't take something very seriously because you don't believe it. As in the example, take everything she says with a pinch of salt. She often tells lies. The other example is uh, sit on the fence. What does it mean to sit on the fence? If someone is sitting on the fence, they don't take sides in arguments. Or we can say they avoid making decisions. Like in the example, I don't think you can sit on the fence about this problem. You have to tell us what you think. The other one, the best of both worlds. It means to take all the advantages of two different situations. As in the example, she wants to keep her manager's salary, but she doesn't want any of the responsibilities. She wants the best of both worlds, but that is not possible. The other example, Pull the wool over someone's eyes. It means when you want to try to trick someone. As in the example, don't try to pull the wool over her eyes. She's too smart. The other idiom, speak of the devil, talk of the devil. We always, uh, we also use it into Albanian with the same words. Also, in another way, try to remember it. This is something we say when the person we're talking about fears at the same moment. As in the dialogue, I heard Jessica was going to go to Canada for a year. Speak of the table, that is Jessica over there. Hi, Jessica, we were just talking about you. The other idiom is to give someone the cold shoulder. It means to ignore someone, or in a situation behaving unfriendly without any reason. As in the example, I wanted to talk with Morgan, but she was giving me a cold shoulder. Do you know what is wrong? Now, another one, a lot on a plate. To have a lot on a plate means to be uh, very busy to have a lot to do. As in the example, I don't think I will be able to go to the party this Friday because I have got a lot of my plate now. And uh, now it's uh, your turn. Try to find the meanings of the following idioms. There are other idioms and you have to find, uh, to tick the right meaning of it. It's raining cats and dogs. What does it mean? Cats and dogs are falling from the sky. It's raining very hard or heavily. Or there are a lot of pets. I think you have chosen the right one. Let's move to the next one. As fresh as a daisy. It means you are full of energy. You are very young. Or you are new at somewhere which is the correct one. The other one, to have ants in your pants. What does it mean? You collect insects, you are sitting on the grass, or you're not able to stay to sit still. Which is the meaning of this idiom? The other one is to break the ice. It is also used into a language with the same words, 
and I'm sure that you have found the meaning. It is, you are very strong, you are the first to do or say something, or you like cold drinks. The other idiom, skeletons in your closet. It means you have secrets, or your closet is full of skeletons, or you're not afraid of anything. What is the right meaning of it? The other idiom is shake a leg. What does it mean? Dance with someone, hurry up, or shake your leg to get a bag of it. I think you have chosen the right one. The other one is hold your horses. So it means to ride a horse, stop your car, or be patient. What do you think it means? A drop in the bucket. What's the meaning of this idiom? A very small part of something? to be thirsty, or it's raining a little. The other one is, a leopard can change his spots. It means you are afraid of animals, you are a rude person, or you cannot change who you are. I think you have chosen the right one. And uh, the other idiom is, a picture paints a thousand words. What does this mean? It means make a picture of words. A visual presentation is more descriptive than words. Or pictures must be described. Uh, I think you have enjoyed what, we, what I have talked about. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. And goodbye till our next video. Bye!